another week, another vlog. I'm so hot. We're going on an adventure. There are literally people watching on a snow I'm going to try and stay out of your way today. That would be nice. That was a joke. I'm not going to stay out of your way. <laughs> I've got a lot of unread Slack messages. Oh dear. I think you've got enough. We've only just started. Is that cool? We should we should keep talking about you know what you want to do longer term. It's it's definitely of interest to me. So today I'm at Harry's residence and I'm basically here to badger him as much as I can. I can hear him coming. I feel like we're going to be spending more and more time together. Is that a worry for you? Literally, yeah. I mean, you can't stop being annoying. We're going to see how dense his walls are. Uh, Apparently, this is a signed NFL helmet. <laughs> well, now we've settled into the routine, we see literally a correlation between the amount of content we create with Aaron, Nick and I, and the success we have in terms of incoming leads and people wanting to talk to us about, about deals and, and Matt is an asset to, to making that happen. So we, we need to get you as close to us as possible, as much as as much as possible. I demanded. Did and you, you, demanded, you, you demanded more access. When am I getting my uh, set of keys? Yeah, no keys will ever be issued to you. Harry, how are you? Not bad, how are you? He doesn't seem to have got dressed. <laughs> I put trousers on today. <laughs> what are you talking about? With meetings out the way, it was time to spring into action and sit Aaron down. Questions at the ready. If something ain't broke, don't fix it. Do you run GOAT with this kind of mentality? Or do you look to change parts of the business that are working perfectly well? Definitely don't have that attitude. We have the attitude of let's start with a blank piece of paper every day. That's the only way that I think we can keep ourselves innovating, keep ourselves honest. I mean, honestly, all the worst things I see in marketing, it's because of that. It's because of, oh, this has always worked. Actually, it stopped working two years ago. People just can't change, right? They, they, they haven't changed for 10 years. And the thought of starting with a blank piece of paper is so terrifying to them that they just do the same thing over and over again. So no, I think the only thing that actually stops us from achieving what we want to achieve over the next five to 10 years is that, is if we ever think, all right, we've got this, we've got this nailed. Now, we optimize all the time and we follow the optimization. So I'm not saying we just throw away the optimizations every day, we don't, but there are core assumptions that people make, particularly in marketing, that we have to challenge every day. We have to challenge ourselves on it every day. Is this really the right audience? Do they really care about this? Is this call to action actually going to make any difference? Are we getting them to post this and you know they don't really care about it or it's just sort of going through the motions? Whenever that happens, the performance will start to drop off. You know, for us, it's maximize every pound we spend for our clients. Nothing's ever good enough, right? If we can get 10x from a pound, but tomorrow we can get 10 and a half x, like we want to get the 10 and a half X. And if we at some point can get to 20 X, then great. We'll never think, oh, that's enough. Doesn't that take more energy? Yeah, it's relentless. It's absolutely relentless because you've got to go in every day like it's the most important day of your life and the first day, right? That's again, going back to the Amazon thing of day one, right? It's exhausting to have day one every day. Day 100 is a lot easier than day one, but you really want to achieve incredible things you have to be willing to do day one over and over and over again. One of my favorite reasons for coming to Harry Hugo's house is Jill the hamster. An excellent home she has here, but obviously they're nocturnal, so I don't want to wake her up. It's just nice to have a, another little living thing working next door. Hmm. With Jill well and truly disturbed, it was time to return to the studio and set up for some shoots going on throughout the week. The following scenes can only be explained by the excessive heat, a bit of loose wiring in the brains. We have Yusring coming in in an hour. The studio is looking like a bomb site. An absolute sh shite. What's that? What's happening? Do you think we should sage the place? Oh my god, he looks so unhappy! <laughs> Harry, Nick, Aaron, really sorry. That was a complete accident. I was trying to thwart off the spirit. What are you trying to do? We should use sage, not nunchuck. Have you got any sage? Take a branch. Give it all a good saging. <laughs> Be gone! Did it work? What spirit would want to be stuck in a room with you? <laughs> I can only apologise. Time to get shooting. You've rocked up and you've gone into project managing mode. I'm quite impressed. The point is of this is to get our TikTok videos 
created in a way that is natural to each of the creators' audiences, but it's also hitting our brief at the same time. So it's about finding that balance. Yeah. So we've got Dr. Naman and we have Charlotte Hyatt Willis. So Dr. Naman is a doctor as well as um, a cosmetic dermatologist. And he is our professional because as we know, Userin is backed by dermatologists. We want to work with Charlotte because she is within the beauty sphere. The whole point of this campaign is built around acne, the Derma Purifier range, and how that can really help tackle skin deep concerns when it comes to these, these sort of conditions. So that was a tasty morsel of what we got up to this week. Make sure you check out LinkedIn for all the content that I shot with the guys. We talk scaling business, gaming, the value of trading cards, tech in China. There really is something for everyone, even you grandma. I know you're watching. How are you getting on losing those lockdown pounds as well? It's been hard. I mean, I've been on a new diet where basically all I do is eat pretty much whatever I want. 